Hello everyone. We will show you in this video how to configure the agent. Now, let's see the other device. First, let's see what can be configured. Change installation code. Disable agent. Enable agent. Configure proxy. Set configuration password. Remove configuration password. Desktop notification. Let's go through them, one by one. You can change the installation code by following these steps. Open the monitor. Click on the Configure button. Select the Configure Agent option. Click the Next button. Select the Change Installation Code option. Click the Next button. Click Yes. Click the Next button. Please enter the new installation code. Click the Next button. Key installed successfully. Click the Next button. Click the Close button. Click Yes. You have successfully changed the installation code. You can disable the agent by following these steps. Open the monitor. As you can see, the agent is enabled. Click on the Configure button. Select the Configure Agent option. Click the Next button. Select the Disable Agent option. Click the Next button. Click Yes. Click the Next button. Agent disabled. Click the Close button. Click Yes. As you can see, the agent has been disabled successfully. You can enable the agent by following these steps. Open the monitor. As you can see, the agent is disabled. Click on the Configure button. Select the Configure Agent option. Click the Next button. Select Enable Agent option. Click the Next button. Click Yes. Click the Next button. Agent enabled. Click the Close button. Click Yes. As you can see, the agent has been enabled successfully. You can configure proxy by following these steps. Open the monitor. Click on the Configure button. Select Configure Proxy option. Click the Next button. To use the proxy used by the system, select System. Click the Next button. Proxy configured successfully. If you want to configure a different proxy, follow these steps. Click the Next button. Select Configure Proxy option. Click the Next button. If you want to set a different proxy, choose the appropriate one. Click the Next button. Specify the host. Specify the port. Enter the username. Enter the password. To save your settings, click Next. If you don't want to use a proxy, select None. To save your settings, click Next. The proxy has now been configured successfully. Click the Next button. Click the Close button. Click Yes. Your proxy is set up. 
You can set a configuration password by following these steps. Open the monitor. Click on the configure button. Select configure monitor option. Click the next button. Select the edit configuration password option. Click the next button. Select the set password option. Click the next button. Enter the password. Retype the password. Click the next button. Password updated. Click the close button. Click yes. Let's test it. Try to disable the agent. Click the disable button. Click yes. You have to enter a password to change the setting. The agent has been protected successfully. You can remove the configuration password by following these steps. Open the monitor. Click on the configure button. Enter the current configuration password. Click the next button. Select configure monitor option. Click the next button. Select the edit configuration password option. Click the next button. Select the remove password option. Click the next button. Click yes. Click the next button. Password updated. Click the close button. Click yes. Let's test it. Try to disable the agent. Click the disable button. Click yes. The agent has been successfully disabled. Enable it again. You removed the agent's protection successfully. You can configure the desktop notification by following these steps. This notification is visible during the session. Open the monitor. Click on the Configure button. Select Configure Monitor option. Click the Next button. Select the Desktop Notification option. Click the Next button. You have three options. Visible during the session. It will be visible, but hidden automatically. or don't show up at all. Choose the one that suits you. Click the next button. Desktop notification configured successfully. For this change to take effect, the user must log out and log in again. Click the close button. Click yes. It has been successful setting up the desktop notification. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.